Why do the woman never have to take a DNA test to see if it's the child? I have no hope for humans anymore. Neither do I, brother. Neither do I. What's up, guys, and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien, and today we're looking through r slash facepalm. Are you still selling the 30-inch TV? No, sorry, I sold it a few days ago. How about $200? I already sold it. Sorry. 250 I literally do not have it. <sighs> then don't waste my time. Dude, he told you in the first sentence that he sold it. 50% <laughs> more than our 12 ounce. Ooh, some spicy brown mustard. 12 ounces, 50% uh, more, 18... Wait, wait, how is... Yeah, that's a good question. How is 18 ounces 50% more than 12 ounces? That's only like... Six ounces more. Attention, the all-day breakfast is served till 11.30 a.m. How dare you lie to me? What if it's 4 p.m. and I want waffles? You're telling me I can't? All day breakfast. One of these days. Hi there. Thanks for responding. I got her name from the profile search here on this Xbox app because I was bored and looking for new people to talk to. How old are you? <sighs> Just give me the virus link. It's effininvite.com. How to avoid triggers during 4th of July fireworks if you suffer from PTSD. Oh my god, I am so sick of these liberals getting triggered. What is so offensive? Dog. PTSD. She said it doesn't charge. No joke, that's how it come into the- Oh, I see. I see. She's stupid. She's an idiot. She's a dunce. Brags when he stands for the anthem, yet he sits on the flag. Oh, wait just a minute, bud. I stand for the national anthem. Ooh, what's this, a flag? <laughs> Hey, this is the bartender from Brass Horse. Whoever owns this phone left it in the bar and I picked it up. Can you tell him or her to come get their phone? We close at 3 a.m. Okay, will do. Thanks. I would tell her right now. Okay. Yo, Mary, go get your phone. It's at Brass Horse Bar. Are you... Are you stupid? Tell me, is all... You got your whole brain up there? I literally just used Mary's phone to tell you that Mary lost her phone and you text her phone to tell her that her phone's lost. Are you dumb? Are you simple? Did you go to school? Let my teenage daughter shoot the AR for the first time today. Teach them young and teach them right. Couple finds 20 to 30 bullet holes in home. Hey, uh, you didn't think that one through, did you? The California Supreme Court decided a case that could add billions in labor costs to employers' bottom line by requiring them to pay employees for work time that previously went uncompensated. You have to pay employees for work being framed as adding billions to labor costs is the most America thing ever. You know what we say in America, compensation, more like, you affected my bottom dollar. American kids want to be YouTubers, and the Chinese kids want to be astronauts. That's because YouTube's blocked in China. What is going on with my website? It looks all wrong. It was working just fine yesterday. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We download a page and check out the code. Well, it looks like someone's gone and deleted some of the code that makes the site work. Yeah, that was me. I was getting rid of some of your unnecessary code. <laughs> Why isn't the site working? I mean, I just took out the whole chunk that ranked the site run. What's tell me? Why isn't it working? I will not be forced to learn a foreign language to accommodate illegals in my country. Confused. Who is forcing him to learn any languages? It's amazing how many white Americans are so triggered by literally just having to hear languages they don't know. He also spelled illegals wrong. That patch makes you look stupid. Even stupider than you already are, my guy. I wish I was multilingual. That'd be dope. Like, imagine. You go, imagine if you knew every language, my dude. You'd be a suave, charming guy. No crime from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. 7 p.m., go ahead. Murder a couple people. Rob a bank. But until then, no crime. <laughs> Maybe you want to steal candy from a baby. I mean, that's fine if it's at 7 a.m., but once 8 a.m. rolls around, you better be uh, on your best behavior, bud. Tried to hang a curtain over my front door, but didn't realize what I did until I stepped back. Good going, stupid. Nice job. Did it not occur to you? Clearly not. That, hmm, this curtain rod is awfully off angle with the door. You fool. Yo, I seriously need to stop freaking smoking. <laughs> Why, LMAO? Because I just drove to the store high as hell and walked home because I forgot I drove. Day five for pretending to be a dolphin trainer on Tinder. So far, nobody has questioned how I train a saltwater mammal in Missouri. 200 IQ. What's the dumbest thing you've ever heard? I drive for Uber on the weekends, and one time, a girl who was in her late 20s told me that I was making her uncomfortable. 
I haven't said a word the whole trip, so I asked how I could make the situation better. She said she didn't like how I kept, quote, playing with the fidget stick in the middle of my car. I drive a manual. She then told me that I didn't need to use that because, quote, her car didn't have that and claimed to be a mechanic. I then kicked her out of my car. Go home, you drunk, bruh! Where are you? I left early. Sorry I couldn't stay longer. WTF, where are you going? I'm going home. Are you kidding me? Come back, you're drunk. Don't worry, I called Nuba. We drank at your place. Oh, where am I going? Elk City is a bird sanctuary. KFC. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a yummy sanctuary. Everyone's making these jokes about their jobs, but I actually have a good job that would sound good when described. I started my own company when I graduated from Oxford, and it's going pretty well, to be honest. 45 employees, including my girlfriend. I had to give her a job, but she's not really bright, so I gave her minimum salary. Downvoting for what? Jealousy? Come on, Reddit, you're better than this. Nah, you get downvoted, dog. Ew, I start this job tomorrow. <laughs> I got fired over Twitter. Maybe you shouldn't have tweeted about your job, idiot. Prom 1994 and 2019. Like father, like son. This is so fake. Pools were a thing in 94. That has to be the dumbest thing you've ever said. I, I would almost admire your stupidity if it didn't make me feel stupider for having heard it. Is it cold out there? Will I be freezing my butt off? Lol. No, it's really nice. Aww. Would you like to visit again, though? Around Southeast Alaska, it barely ever gets below freezing. Celsius or Fahrenheit, lol. Both. Dude, freezing is freezing. We have signed G. Isaiah Williams. Source? Us. We are the Baltimore Ravens official account. We signed him. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Church leader mauled by lion after trying to prove God would intervene. Nah, dog. He wanted you to learn. A guy says he was questioned on a plane for doing math during a flight. A woman sitting next to the Ivy League economist told flight crew she had security concerns about the man after seeing him write in a foreign script. It turned out to be a differential equation. Yeah. Yeah, about them differential equations, idiot. At the gym, I said subscription instead of membership, and the girl replied with, LOL, this isn't a pharmacy. Bro, that's a prescription. We're both stupid. Did you know? In 1997, 14-year-old Nathan Zoner got 43 out of 59th graders to vote in favor of banning dihydrogen monoxide, also known as water. The hoax was a science fair project, which he titled, How Gullible Are We? He not only won the science fair, but also inspired the term zonerism defined as the use of a fact to lead a scientifically ignorant public to a false conclusion. That's dope. That's solid. My man's playing mind games. Giant hornets kill 42 people in China. And we should have the Hong Kong that- Wait a minute, that's South America! That's not Hong Kong. There is no I in happiness. There is this, you frickin' spell it right, idiot. This really is the ultimate are you kidding me image. Did you get him a confederate dream cat? What the hell, man? My mother-in-law keeps complaining that her Kindle went in charge. <laughs> oh, idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. That's adorable. All right, what's going on here? Kiss. Oh, not even close. Her clock is upside down. I can't read Roman numerals, but I'll have to take your word on that, buddy. LeBron James Jr. won't wear his dad's number because he, quote, doesn't want people to know who he is. Coming in number four, LeBron James Jr. Hey, yo, bro, who that guy is? L-M-A-O. Did I tell y'all about the white dude at my school who apparently learned Japanese for the girl he liked, but the girl he liked was Chinese? You win some, you lose some, dude. He, he took time to learn a language, though, and that's what's important. Aquaman drowns in Endgame! Repeated like 900 times. I hate you. I wanted to watch the movie. It's a joke. It's not true. <laughs> oh my god. I'm dying. It's Aquaman. He can't drown. Also, he isn't a Marvel. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Without you, 60 minutes feels like one hour. Aww. I love you. Don't tell her. Imagine falling in love with someone just to find out they watch Netflix with subtitles. I'm convinced people who don't like subtitles can't read fast. Yesterday, I went undercover at Kent State to ask students what they think about Blank, the Kent State gun girl. Surprisingly, no one recognized me until I took the glasses off. You're not undercover if no one knows who you are in the first place. <laughs> Got him. Everybody deserves to be treated equally. It doesn't matter if you're black or yellow or brown or normal. Hey, wait a minute. What about that last one? <laughs> The term obese is a slur, violent, dehumanizing, it's anti-black. It's actually none of those things. What is wrong with you? It's just a medical term, you idiot. I 
don't like being called obese. It hurts my feelings. Shut up. This piece is called old people using the wrong crying emoji. How about your mom? Thank you for the prayers. My mom leaving us from this world soon. Laughing till I'm crying emoji. I'm so sorry about that. She passed away at 6 a.m. today. <laughs> Blank. There's something I don't understand. How I eat this and what the quantity of a teaspoon as it is not liquid. Maybe I should mix with water or something? Remove the cotton. There are pills under it. <laughs> Yesterday I ate the cotton. You what? Oh, pulling up in the whip. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Pakistani official posts video of airplane colliding with tanker. Turns out it was from GTA 5. Narrow escape of an aircraft which could have ended in a great disaster. Miraculous save by the pilot's presence of mind. You. Idiot. My point was that the plague disappeared without a vaccine. <laughs> yeah, because people died, you uneducated potato. Private prison threatens to close unless state or federal officials fill up 300 more beds. In any sane country, having to shut down a prison due to lack of criminals would be a success, but supply creates its own demand. Again, r slash whoosh. Very cool, you use Reddit. I actually don't. It's a term used on Instagram meme accounts regularly. But anyway, you're boring, so I'm just going to ignore you now. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. Remember. Hello, it's John and I, the Remba boys. Have you rembered today? Repeat after me. Retinal. One more time. Retinal. Free rectal photography with every eye test. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Russian President Vladimir Putin calls trans people transformers. People are ferocious, cat star Francesca Hayward has white fur. Ivanka Trump mocked for giving a white dog to her daughter. Guys, I can't believe I need to say this, but animals with white fur are not the white people of animals. They're just animals. I can't believe that dog got white fur, he's a supremacist. Happy second birthday. Not suitable for children under three years of age. My son, Sam, drew this for me today. I love him so much. He's my anti-vax boy. Law, you let the Shutterstock image on it. No, he, he wrote that. Please don't get on here spoiling The Lion King before we get to see it. At least wait until after the weekend is over. How do you spoil a movie that's been out since 94? Dude, what is your street name? Lil Marco? You live on a street called Lil Marco? Oh, you meant my address? A tree holding up the sun. That's a weird looking sun, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Walton Forest Council worker slapped Stuart Gosling with a 300 pound fine in Northeast London for keeping snack wrappers in his van because he doesn't have a license to carry waste. That, that's so nutty, are you kidding me? Expectations. Oh, get it, bro. Some burpees? Get him. Yeah, reality. All right, girls, get the burpees. <laughs> oh, they tag teamed you. Operation Acoustic Kitty. CIA spent 15 million dollars on this project. The cat was meant to walk up to Soviets and spy on them. First field experiment ended immediately when the cat got hit by a taxi and died. Microphone inside ear canal, antenna wire along spine, transmitter and power- SMH. <laughs> Not a good look. Not a good move. In the 1980s, a and tried to compete with McDonald's Quarter Pounder by selling a third pound burger at a lower cost. The product failed because more customers thought one and a quarter pound was bigger. It's all in the numbers game, bro. Girl at restaurant. Are you Tony Hawk? Me? Yes. Her? Why? I had no idea how to answer. I don't know if she's looking for an apology or an explanation, but now she knows that you are indeed Tony Hawk. There are two types of people in this world. Those who can extrapolate for incomplete data. So two of my classmates just asked the professor if his shirt is missing a second part. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get the joke. Was being responsible and didn't drive home after happy hour last night. Came back to pick up my car and into a frickin' farmer's market. The setup around your car. Unpopular opinion. White people love dogs so much because deep down they miss owning slaves. They love the owner and master dynamic. Desperate for something to control. Is my man in the Olympics? Because he could get in hurdles for how much he jumps to conclusions. I love it. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> you gotta applaud them for trying. My sister, Eleven, thinks that World War II happened in 2003. Not as bad as the girl in my ninth grade history class that thought England shared a northern border with the United States and that Korea was the capital of Japan. How are you that dumb? But that brings us to the end of our slash facepalm. And if you liked the video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content from MK. And as always, I'll be seeing ya.